Alrighty gang, GMapper14 here. Today I'm going to be plugging the Chrome cast into my TV and showing you the complete setup process and some of you wanted it yesterday I had a, a brief version of it this is gonna be the full one which shouldn't take too long because it's extremely simple to do this I won't go through the pain of showing you that I plug this in the back of my TV because it's really hard to do that so I will be right back after I plug this in okay after you plug it in you're gonna see this it says set me up and it says blah 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 awaiting instructions so whatever the name of yours is it's gonna say in uh, posture or whatever those things are waiting instructions then it has a unique code for your TV that will come in contact with later. On your device that you're using to connect with, I'm using my Nexus 7, you can use your computer, it works the same way, you're going to see it show up on your wireless network. Actually, it's not connected to your wireless network right now. It's, it has its own Wi-Fi hotspot, the device, and this is scanning for that unique signature. So here it is right here. So it says, ready to be set up, and it shows a little picture of it. So you tap it, and it says, here it is, now let's connect the Chromecast 8, you know, the number, to your wireless network. And then your internet connection will be temporarily unavailable, but it will be back up in a snap. So you click set it up. Then it says connecting to Chromecast 1825, which is mine. It's loading up. And on the TV, it still says the same thing. We'll pause this. Oh, wait, there we go, actually. Uh, you'll see here that it says change the input on your TV to the one that is has the Chromecast in it. And it asks if the numbers are the same, which they are. Since they are, you'll click I see the code. Once you do that, then it'll ask you to change the name of your Chromecast. I'm going to type something in so that, you know, it all knows it's upstairs, the upstairs Chromecast. So now it says upstairs, and then you just click set. So if it was in your game room or living room or anywhere, you can name it whatever you want. So now it's asking me for my password. Let me pause this while I type that in. Once that's done, you'll just click set network. And then it'll load up saying connecting your Chromecast to iMac and Cheese, which is, or whatever your internet name is, that's the name of ours, or Wi-Fi signal. So we'll let that load up, and when it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, the internet done loading, uh, and now it says upstairs is successfully set up, or whatever the name of your channel thing would be. So then now it says, sweet, you can now send videos to your TV from select apps on Android, iOS, Chrome browser, on, and on your laptop. So watch tutorial or finish setup. And if I click watch tutorial, it'll show it on the screen. So let me show you the screen first real fast. There are no menu options or anything. All it says on the screen is ready to cast, the name of your device, and it gives you the time and the internet you're connected to. Alrighty, let's watch the tutorial on the TV. So you press play, and it shows up right here in the YouTube app. At the very top you'll see this little symbol that right here means to cast it to your Chrome to cast. One second. Okay. Let's, there we go. Right there after my amazing autofocus connects. Right there. That's it right there. So we press it, and it's going to come down here and say, uh, would you like to play it on your TV? And it says YouTube TV, and you click yes upstairs. Sorry for the blurriness. Now it says connecting, and on your TV, if you'll notice, it says connecting. So there it is. Welcome to Chromecast. Sorry for the amazing blurry effect. That is because, you know, I don't have a tripod with me right now. So... There you go, playing through the TV. Don't forget that the Chromecast app is free, and it's in the store, so you'll need that to set this up. Unless you're doing it from the computer, you don't need the app, you'll just need the extension for Chrome. So there you go, it's all set up. You can now send from YouTube, Netflix, and Google Play Movies and TV, and all the music. Look forward to more uh, videos explaining music being sent from my Nexus 7, my Windows 8 computer, the OS X um, Mac computer downstairs, everything. You'll be seeing all those videos very soon on my channel. Make sure to check out the unboxing video as well. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask them. Please like, subscribe, and comment.